How do you enable HTTPS on your website? That's our topic for today. So as many of you guys know, I recently started a new website over at distrotube.com. Go check it out if you haven't been over there yet. It's not complete yet, but I put up a website and one of the first things I wanted to do was change over from HTTP to HTTPS. And to do that, of course, you need a SSL certificate. How do you get that? How do you get that on a web server, especially if you're using a host like I'm using, a web host, that doesn't offer easy access to tools like cPanel and, you know, and managed services where you just click a button and you, you magically get a SSL certificate. I don't have any of that. When I set up my web server, all I have is a SSH login. I can log in remotely to that machine. Other than that, it's up to me to do everything on that machine to set up you know, the LAMP stack, build the website, get my SSL certificate. And getting an SSL certificate is very, very easy. All you need to do is use a tool called Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is free, and I'm talking about free as in beer. There is no cost associated with it. So how do you get Let's Encrypt? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to log in to your server. So SSH into your web server. Then I would do a update of the repository. So do a quick update so you have a fresh sync of your repository because we might have to install some software here. If you don't have Git already on your web server, install Git. So if you're on an Ubuntu server or a Debian server, apt install Git. Then the next thing you need to do is Git clone the Let's Encrypt GitHub repository. I'll link to that in the show description. Now, where do you need to clone this Git repository? Well, I would put it in slash opt slash let's encrypt. That's typically where you place third party programs that you're installing not through a repository. You typically store those in slash opt. From there, installing let's encrypt is very easy. Just cd into slash opt slash let's encrypt because again, that's where you clone that repository. And then you run a simple command with your domain name, boom, you get an SSL certificate. Now, one thing you can do that makes this process a little easier is the EFF, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, creates a Let's Encrypt client called CertBot. CertBot, if you install that alongside Let's Encrypt, then you can run some CertBot commands that make the process even simpler. The command to get your certificate is a little shorter using CertBot rather than Let's Encrypt. But CertBot also does some other really interesting things. When you create your certificate with CertBot, it automatically sets up a cron job for you. So when your certificate expires, it's already set to renew. So your SSL certificates, by the way, they're going to expire every 90 days. But again, when you install CertBot and you run the CertBot command, it's going to go ahead and create a cron job for you. So you never have to remember every 90 days I need to get a new certificate. No, CertBot takes care of that for you. So enabling HTTPS is not hard, even if you don't have tools like cPanel and things like that. If you can SSH into the machine and run a couple of simple commands, you can have an SSL certificate and you can have your website pointing to HTTPS colon slash slash domain.com and your site will be trusted. Now before I go, I do want to thank a few special people. All those names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are the guys that support me over on Patreon. Without these guys, this show wouldn't be possible. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right guys, peace.